Good morning. It's a chilly start to the day across the southeastern quarter of the UK, but here we will see a fair bit of sunshine. But the rest of the UK are fairly cloudy, murky in the coast and hills with some patchy rain, but that bit milder. I'll have all the details coming up. Good morning. Well, it's mixed fortunes today, Lou, depending, of course, on exactly where you are. Oh, she said 6.45 promptly, so we're, we're a few seconds early. Good morning, Carol. I need my smelling salts, Dan. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> you know, it's a real different start to the morning north to south compared to what it was yesterday in terms of temperatures. You can see here yesterday in Altnahara in the Highlands, it was minus two. Catesbridge in Northern Ireland, one. But it's in Santon Downham, it was 11. Q in London, of course, 12. Today, Look at this. So instead of being minus two, it's much warmer. It's 12 degrees warmer in Altnahara this morning, whereas in Kew, we're looking at a good five degree drop. Good morning. Today, we've got a weather front slipping southwards, taking its cloud, patchy rain and murky conditions with it. So the brightest and driest and sunniest conditions for the longest will be in the southeast quarter of the UK. I'll have all the details coming up. Carol, what's the weather looking like? We've been down with uh, John in North Devon, where it looks gorgeous this morning. Absolutely right, Dan. Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful start to the day for many of us, but a chilly one where it was mild yesterday and a mild one where it was chilly yesterday. Now, this is one of our Weather Watchers pictures from this morning from Sefton in Merseyside, and you can see beautiful blue skies. Now, pollen levels today are high across Scotland, England and Wales, so it's something to bear in mind if you have an allergy to especially grass pollen at this time of year. Good morning. This is quite exciting as well today. We've got a real variety of weather. You can see blue skies here in Greater London, sent in by one of our weather watchers. The beautiful start. Temperatures picking up quite nicely now after what was a cold start. These are the latest temperatures. So in St Mary's, it's 14 degrees and it's also 14 degrees in Kinloss. In Wales and Aberporth, it's 10 and in Birmingham, it is 11. So you see what I mean. Good morning today. We've got a weather front slipping southwards, taking its cloud and light rain with it. Murky conditions too. The best of the sunshine will be across parts of eastern England, central and southeastern areas, as well as southern areas. But I'll have all the details coming out. Morning. Good morning both. Good morning to you too. It is a beautiful start to the day for some of us, but as always the case, it's not all of us. We've got some rain heading southeastwards. It's across Scotland, Northern Ireland and parts of Northern England at the moment. But south of that, after a cold start, temperatures now recovering. Here is where we've got the sunniest skies. Five military veterans with life-changing injuries are taking on the challenge of Land's End to John O'Groats, but this is by kayak, and they're hoping to achieve a world first in the process. Uh, John McGuire has been following their journey, and I think every time we show you those pictures of seagulls flying past on the drone shot as well, look at that. We all want to be in North Devon with you this morning, John. Yeah, and you'd be very welcome too, Dan. It'd be great to see you. Beautiful day here on shore conditions are absolutely fine but that's not what this is all about this is about five former service personnel all carrying carrying life-changing injuries who are going to take on this incredible expedition this incredible challenge what it's also about is the conditions out to sea because for the next couple of days that's what they're going to be up against and I can tell you it's not easy there we are. You can keep track of them across social media platforms. Yeah, I think it should so be, yeah. give you an idea of where they've been, where they're going to next, if you want to catch good. up with them. And that'll also That's give you an idea of their fundraising as well. But yeah, uh, I'm not quite sure how far they've yeah, gone so Yeah, it'd be so great far. if uh, we can get uh, everyone donating. It'd be uh, great if so they could go onto the, the website matter, and follow us at www.kayakforheroes.co.uk uh, kayak or even donate. You can, you can <laughs> hear them as uh, they chat 700, uh, going off into the distance, John, as well. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Very good luck to them. Thank you very much indeed. It's been wonderful to be out and about with them this morning. And a slight issue setting off there, but once they sorted you know that, that out, feeling? it's just beautiful. So, you know, anyway, you get in and then you've got to get out again. Okay, look, Louise, look at that. Just, just think once you've finished on this sofa, you can go, you can go do that on a morning somewhere. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Best of oh. luck, as I said. Good. Wonderful. That's lovely, isn't it? We had to do that earlier because of the tides, which is... Yeah, I'm, well, I'm glad they've set they off. Too. And as John says, you can follow that and uh, I'm sure we'll be dipping into them over the next uh, course of the next few days as well. Um, hello again. Good morning, both. Good morning to you too. Now, some of us in the north started off on a very mild note. Some of us in the south started off on a cold note. But temperatures are now rising quite nicely. And... 
north to south, this is roughly what you can expect between about 11 and 15 degrees. 15 in Inver Inverbervie is in northeast Scotland. Still feeling humid in places with a temperature range 12 to about 21 degrees. As for the weekend, well, England and Wales likely to see some showers, some rain on and off at times, whereas for Scotland and Northern Ireland, you're likely to see some drier conditions as a ridge of high pressure builds in. Leon Dan. Thank you very much for that, Carol. Have a lovely what day is it today? Wednesday. Have a lovely Wednesday. Thank you, you too. <laughs> well, that's it, the voice. <laughs> oh, Carol. You can't remember what day it is. Um, well, I was out, all, the, I was out of the studio on Monday, you see, <laughs> and then there's been far too much. There's far too much football around, so I've sort of lost track. It could Should be Friday. The it's definitely Wednesday. Sally, I definitely don't know what day it is. I really, really don't. I'm with you there, Dan. Morning, everybody. There were opposite fortunes in last night's final Euros group games. Delight for England as they topped their group, but heartache for Scotland, who are out of their first major tournament in more than 20 years.